everyone, in this tutorial we are going to take a look at the anatomy of medial cranial fossa. The floor of the cranial cavity is divided into three distinct depressions. They are known as anterior cranial fossa, medial cranial fossa, and posterior cranial fossa. Each fossa accommodates different parts of the brain. The medial cranial fossa is located, as its name suggests, centrally in the cranial floor. It is said to a butterfly shape with a medial part accommodating the pituitary gland and two lateral parts accommodating the temporal loop of the brain. So, the medial cranial fossa lies at the lower plane of the anterior cranial fossa, but it's higher than the posterior cranial fossa with a narrow central or median part expanded laterally part. It is bound anteriorly by posteriorly free edge of the leather wing of spinite. The anterior cranial process and the anterior margin of the circus chiasmatics. Posteriorly, posteriorly, it extends to the superior borders of the petrous temporal bone and dorsum cilia of spinite. And literally, it is bound. And literally, it is bound by the squamous part of temporal bone, part of the parietal bone, and greater wing of the spinite. The borders of medial cranial fossa consist of three bones: the spinite bone and the two temporal bones. Its boundary like follows anteriorly and laterally. It is bounded by the laser wing of spinal bone. These are two triangular projections of bone that arise from the central spinal body. Anteriorly and medially, it is bounded by the limbus of spinal bone. The limbus is a bony ridge that forms the anterior border of chiasmatic sulcus, a groove running between the right and left optic canals. Posteriorly and laterally, it is bounded by the superior border of petrous part of the temporal bone. Posteriorly and medially, it is bounded by the dorsum cilia of the spinite bone. This is a large superior projection of the bone that arises from the spinidal body. The floor of medial cranial fossa is formed by the body and greater wing of the spinite. In the squamous and petrous part of the temporal bone. The medial cranial fossa consists of the central portion, which contains the pituitary gland and the two lateral portion, which accommodates the temporal the temporal loop of the brain. Both part both part of the fossa. The central part of the medial cranial fossa is formed by the bony of the spinite bone. It contains the cilia tertica, which is a saddle shaped bony prominence. It acts to hold and support the pituitary gland and consists of three parts. The tuberculum cilia is a vertical elevation of bone. It forms the interior wall of the cilia tertica and the posterior aspect of the chiasmatic sulcus, a groove running between the right and left optic canal. The hypophyseal fossa. The hypophyseal fossa or pituitary fossa. Side is the medial of the cilia tertica. It is a depression in the body of the spinite, which holds the pituitary gland. The dorsum cilia forms the posterior wall of the cilia tertica. It is a large sphere of bone, pointing upward and forward. It spreads the medial cranial fossa from the posterior cranial fossa. The cilia tertica is surrounded by the interior and posterior cranial process. The anterior cranial process arises from the spinatal laser wing, while the posterior cranial process or the supralateral projection of the dorsum cilia. They serve as attachment point for the tenitorium cerebri, a membranous sheet that divides the brain. The depressed lateral part of the medial cranial fossa are formed by the greater wing of the spinal bone and the squamous and the squamous and petrous part of the temporal bone. They support the temporal loop of the brain. At the side of many foramina, small hole by which vessel and nerves enter and leave the cranial cavity. Foramina. There are many foramina that transmit vessel and nerves into and out the medial cranial fossa. These foramina will be discussed in relation to the bone they are situated in. Foramina of the spinite bone. The optic canal are, are situated interiorly in the medially cranial fossa. They transmit the optic nerve and ophthalmic arteries into the orbital cavity. 
The optic canal are connected by the chiasmatic sulcus. A difference grow running transversely be between the two. Immediately, immediately laterally to the central part of the medial cranial fossa are four foramina. Superior orbital fissure open anteriorly into the orbit. It transmits the, the oculomotor nerves, trochlear nerves, and ophthalmic branch of trigeminal nerves, abducens nerves. Ophthalmic veins and sympathetic fibers. Foramina rotunda. Open into the pterygoplatean fossa and transmit the maxillary branch of trigeminal nerves. The foramina uvale open into the, in the infratemporal fossa, transmitting the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerves and accessory meningeal artery. Foramina spinosa. Also open into the infra temporal fossa, it transmits the medial meningeal artery, medial meningeal veins, and meningeal branches. Foramina of the temporal bone. The temporal bone is marked by three major foramina. Hiatus, hiatus of the greater petrosal nerves, transmit the greater petro, uh, petrosal nerves, branch of the facial nerves, and the petrosal branch of the medial meningeal artery. Hiatus of the lesser petrosal nerves. Transmit the laser petrosal nerves, a branch of the glossopharyngeal nerves. Carotid canal, located posteriorly and medially to the foramina uvale. This is trans transverse by the internal carotid artery, which is sent to the cranium to supply the brain with blood. The deep petrosal nerves also pass through this canal. Adjunction, adjunction between adjunction of the sphenoid and temporal and occipital bone. Is foramina lesrum. Foramina lesrum. In life, this foramina is filled with cartilage which is pressed only by a small blood vessels. These are the foramina of sphenoid bone, optical canal, superior orbital fascia, foramen rotundum, foramen uvel, foramen spinosum, and foramen lesrum. The middle cranial fossa at the junction of the ferrous bone with the side wall of the skull, there is a groove for the inferior. The in, uh, inferior uh, temporal gyrus, medial to the medial to the grow, medial to the grow of the acute eminence, which is made by the underlying anterior semicircular canal. The upper surface, the upper surface, or the upper surface of the ferrous temporal bone is perforated. The grow by the greater, the greater grow by the greater uh, petrosal nerves. The grow is directed toward foramina lesrum. Foramina lesrum. Anterior anterolateral uh, anterolateral to this is small grow made by the laser petrosal nerves. It is directed toward foramen uvale. It shows up a very dense shadow and X-ray. An X-ray looks like petros temporal bone. It closes the inner ear and literally the medial ear QD, with it is connected osculus. So that completes anatomy of the medial cranial fossa. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at the posterior cranial fossa. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave comments below. Thank you for watching.